Hello and welcome to this Relux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use custom work planes for daylight simulations. In this example, I'm going to use a SketchUp model of two semi-detached houses, which I'm going to later import into the visualizer. Here, I've already created the work planes. You can see the yellow surfaces, which are the work planes in each of the building rooms. Work planes are generally used to simulate the daylight conditions on a specific surface in a building model. In the most common case, they correspond to the different rooms of a building. You'll notice that all my work planes are offset from the walls of each room. They're offset in this case by 50 centimeters, and this is generally considered good practice for more accuracy in your daylight results. As with any surface of a SketchUp model that will be later imported into the visualizer, the work planes need to be assigned a separate material. I've already created these materials and assigned them to the surfaces. You'll see that each of them has the name of the room that it corresponds to, and the names of all work plane surfaces begin with W underscore. This is a shortcut that I'm using that Daylight Visualizer recognizes, and when I import my model, these surfaces will automatically be defined as work planes. So now I'm ready to import my model into the Visualizer. I go to Assign Surface Materials. Before I assign any materials, I'm going to show you the work planes, which were created as separate surfaces. You'll notice that the checkbox named Zone has been selected. This means that this surface is not an actual surface in the building model, but it's only used for daylight analysis. So as you can see in this case, I have quite a few of these work planes. So it's very useful that the visualizer has automatically defined them as zones. Now I will go ahead and assign surfaces to the other. Now I will go ahead and assign materials to the other surfaces. Now I move on to set a location for my model. Then onto the camera tab. Here, I don't need to set a view height for the simulations because the daylight results will automatically be on the work planes that I've designed. I will select to set the area of the simulation since I have quite a larger area, including the surroundings. So I go to the Render tab, I select Daylight Factor, although you could also simulate luminance or illuminance on work planes. And now I'm ready to begin the rendering. So now the simulation is complete and I can view the results for each of my work planes. By clicking on Zones, I see the results separately for each of the zones in the building model. I can navigate through them by clicking on the arrow buttons. And by mousing over any of the images, I get some statistics about the daylight conditions in that zone. The last statistic, the percentage of the zone that is above a certain daylight factor threshold, is adjustable. And you can input any value you like in this box here, and the results will update. A very useful feature when simulating the daylight conditions in multiple zones is the option to generate a report which will include all of these results. By clicking on Generate Report, I'm prompted to select a location for my report file, which is in HTML format. And when the visualizer is done creating the report, it will automatically open in your default internet browser. So here you see an image for each of the work planes and below it, some statistics regarding the daylight factor. So that's how you create a report with multiple work planes. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy simulating with Bellux Daylight Visualizer.